top three coins for DeFi season. What's going on guys, Randy here with another crypto video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell notification, and check out my Patreon down below for more exclusive content. DeFi season is said to be right around the corner this summer. It's going to heat up again, kind of like last summer. What coins should you be looking at now that will explode during DeFi season? Now, of course, the, the normal ones that people might mention are Synthetics or Aave or Maker, you know, the ones in the top spots right now on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. But I'm here to show you three that I feel are undervalued and can make you a lot of money this summer. One is Ren Protocol, which is a larger cap crypto, just under $1 billion. Vesper Finance is a, a mid, mid cap. And then a low cap here in Equalizer. And then if you stick around to the end, I actually have a fourth bonus DeFi coin that could make you 100x gains. All right, so let's start out with Ren. Ren VM is a permissionless and decentralized virtual machine protocol. They're a secure network of virtual computers that power interoperability for decentralized applications, enabling cross-chain lending, exchanges, collateralization, and more. RenVM serves as the engine that powers our decentralized interoperability solution, and they're actually being used right now. And RenVM provides one of the only practical interoperability solutions that can scale. It is also the only solution that allows for secret computation over multiple inputs and multiple parties. RenVM is not a product. It's also not an application in and, in and of itself. It is a network and an accompanying SDK that allows developers to bring cross-chain functionality to their DeFi applications. Ren is actually very important to the DeFi space. I think they're very undervalued for, for what they are. When, when RenVM was finally launched, the virtual machine came out, the price shot up quite a bit. But lately, it's just kind of been stagnant. It's went, it's down a bit from its all-time high. And now might be a good time to get in to Ren. Okay, so Ren over on CoinGecko sits at number 125 based on market cap with $808 million. Their circulating supply is 881 million out of a billion tokens. And right now, you can get one Ren for 91 cents, down 49% from an all-time high only three months ago. Now, if you ask the community, I think they've already s spoken it into existence that, that Ren will go to 10. Uh, that's $10 this bull market. I don't see any reason why that, that couldn't happen. So let's go Ren to 10. And if you get in now, that's, uh, that's around a 10x gain. Could even go higher than that. $10 for Ren, peak of the bull run. Okay, so next on the list is Vesper Finance. Vesper is dedicated to creating and supporting the conditions for DeFi's expansion and success to the benefit of all participants. You can passively grow your crypto holdings, maintain your yield strategy without worry, build your ownership of the network through VSP token rewards, and get rewarded for building strategies that the community loves. One thing I like about Vesper is their A plus team in Jeff Garzik, Jordan Kruger, and Matthew Rozak. Jeff Garzik is a former Bitcoin developer. Now he's the chief designer and co-founder of Vesper Finance. The Vesper project rests on three pillars, the Vesper products, the Vesper token, and the Vesper community. Now the products at launch, Vesper offers a variety of interesting yielding grow pools that enable users to passively increase their crypto holdings by simply selecting the desired aggressiveness of their strategy and digital asset held. The Vesper Grow Pools represent the first product on the Vesper platform. More will be developed and presented over time. So based on your risk tolerance, you can either set it to aggress more aggressive or less aggressive based on, you know, of course, your risk tolerance. The Vesper Token VSP incentivizes participation, facilitates governance, and catalyzes user contribution. Users earn VSP through pool participation and later participating in Vesper's continuous improvement. And then of course the community, Vesper is building a community that sustains and grows the product portfolio, facilitates progressive decentralization, and enables users to build new products while earning a share of that product's fees. Vesper Finance sits at 369 on CoinGecko with a small market cap of $112 million. There's only 3 million tokens in circulating supply out of 10 million. 
We're sitting at $35.98 for Vesper Finance, and it's had an all-time high of $79.51 two months ago, so it's down 55%. You can see that it's been down over the past 30 days. This is one that I think will soar during this next D5 season. Okay, number three on the list is Equalizer. This is a brand new DeFi product that has been making a lot of gains lately. Someone in my Patreon group in the Telegram mentioned this coin when it was $2.40. And anyone who would have gotten in at that time would have already doubled their, their gains. Equalizer is a DeFi flash loans made easy. The first dedicated platform that equalizes the decentralized markets. Equalizer is powered by Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polkadot, Solana. So four of the hottest blockchains out right now. So the DeFi opportunity here, decentralized finance, exponentially increasing market with $40 billion total lock value. Decentralized exchange, exponentially increasing volume with $60 billion per month. And liquidations rebalances arbitrage, and collateral swapping are a need, not a trick. And what are the advantages of Equalizer, especially designed as a marketplace for DeFi flash loans that with low fees, wide, virtually unlimited choice of token vaults, highly available liquidity based on yield farming, extensive documentations and examples, multi-chain and cross-chain capabilities. And on their site, you can go and check out their roadmap. They have a nice roadmap ahead with a lot of exciting things to look forward to here. Equalizer is also a project where I really like their team, led by Lulian Nita, PhD. He's a certified blockchain solution architect for European blockchain services infrastructure, and he has worked on other projects such as Ethereum, Fabric, Steam, Tezos, Algorand, and significant scientific work as a blockchain researcher, that's the kind of guy I want leading my team, the kind of team that I would want to invest in. All right, so Equalizer is a relatively new project, and I'm, I'm going to take a look at CoinMarketCap for the stats because they're, they haven't populated yet over on CoinGecko. So Equalizer has a market cap of $31 million, currently only a circulating supply of $6 million out of $100 million total max supply. Right now, you can get Equalizer over on KuCoin for $5.24. Like I said, we spotted this coin back when it was only $2.40. Now it is up to $5.25. And as you can see from the past 30 days, this coin has been real hot. You've, you've also probably noticed that most coins have dipped over the past day or so. And projects like Equalizer are still making gains, which is very positive to see. And I think also because of that, this coin hasn't run up yet. It hasn't done any crazy, too crazy of gains. And there's still... Plenty of gains to be made. All right, now I'm going to give you a fourth and final coin. This is a bonus coin. This one's called Naus Finance, DeFi lending protocol for real world assets. Naus Finance allows you to lend, borrow, stake, and mine. From the outside, it looks like Naus Finance might be like all the other DeFi platforms, but it's actually not. Naus Finance facilitates DeFi lenders and SME bor borrowers to allow both parties to interact in a permissionless manner on the blockchain. We enable the or we enable the origination and funding of loans without traditional intermediaries. Naus Finance provides lenders with stable and recurring income streams while also connecting the on-chain world with much bigger off-chain opportunities. Ultimately, our goal is to fully automate the tokenization of real world assets and make them available as part of the end to end lending process through Naus Finance. So the key here, which is very different from all other DeFi platforms is tokenizing real world assets. What kind of, what kind of collateral does Naus Finance support? They focus on tokenizing debt obligations like corporate loans, account receivables, warehouse receipts and invoices. We are also working closely with our partners to explore the opportunity to tokenize hard assets such as real estate, precious metals, equipment, and commodities. Naus Finance is also backed by some big adventure, by some big investors such as Huobi DeFi Labs, Hotbit, Mechanism Capital, Spartan, Hashkey, OKX Blockchain Ventures. And Crypto.com is also an investor of Naus Finance. The Naus team is led, but this is where it gets interesting. They have advisors from Origin Protocol in Josh Frazier and Matt Blue. And just a day ago on, on May 10th, 
Nous Finance released their product roadmap. Nous Finance just released some big news the other day, completing their first MIP6 application on MakerDAO. So what is MIP6? This is a standardized application form used to kick off the process of onboarding a new collateral asset to the Maker protocol. And we are starting with a big one, US-based supply chain finance for large OEMs, all of who are in the Fortune 500. All right, so Nous Finance sits at 1,257 on CoinGecko with a, a, a very small market cap of only $6 million, circulating supply of $8 million and a max supply of $210 million. Right now, you can get one Nous token for $0.74. Cents. Nous has only hit an all-time high of $0.81 cents and an all-time low five, five days ago of $0.47. Cents. So this is one that has seen literally no action, was just released, and with the big backing partners, a solid team, and an innovative DeFi platform, I could see this one really taking off here. And now is the time to get in. This is this is these are the kind of projects that that you scoop up before anyone's talking about it. No one has, is really mentioning Nous Finance, and this market cap is so low that even if you pick up a small percentage, like 1% of your portfolio, half a percent of your portfolio, put it in something like Nous, it could 100, 200x, you're going to make some nice gains of a small amount of money. All right, guys, let me know down below which coin piqued your interest. Was it Ren, Vesper, Equalizer, or Nous Finance? Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I will see you tomorrow.